So here we have the Volkswagen up on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space given the size of the vehicle. Uh, we have a 60-40 split folding rear seat to increase it even further. And this tray section lifts to reveal the majority of the boot beneath that section. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles for this car. They're 43,541. Over in the center, we have the main stereo, above which we have this additional unit. So up on here, uh, you're able to get uh, satellite navigation. So you can see, uh, you can input destinations from up on here. Uh, it's a nice color display. It's a very, very easy system to use. Uh, also back on the uh, main menu section, uh, you've got the ability to pair your phone and you have a media player as well. And you can see that being displayed just there. The main stereo unit itself houses the auxiliary input for your music and of course the radio. Uh, this car's got FM and AM radio, as you can see. Main volume for the stereo is over here on the left and we have a CD player as well. Above that, we have the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction the air is being distributed in. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so it's off, back on again. You can move the slider across to recirculate the air that's in the car or bring in fresh air from outside the vehicle. Over on the left-hand side, we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. We've got our rear heated screen. Passenger heated seat with two heat settings and the same over here for the driver's side as well and our hazard warning lights just there. Down the bottom here we have some storage, the cup holder, a 12 volt charging socket and a 5 speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.